Okay, here's uh, looks like the female Cooper Hawk back at the nest site keeping an eye on the youngsters. She's looking back over here again and uh, sitting right on top of the nest guarding her brood here. And there she's rubbing her cheek on her wing and we just keep an eye on her. We were hoping to get here for the afternoon feeding but we probably just missed it. But that's all right, we get to see her looking back over this way and she looks really good, keeping a close eye on us, wondering what we're doing over here. Well, we're spying on her. She looks pretty content. Got her chores all done for the day and obviously has fed the youngsters. And we'll watch and see if she takes flight. She's moving around a little bit, looking around again. Now she's looking uh, to the north on the trail. We'll watch her for a bit more. Maybe we'll see her take off. Right, there she goes, getting ready to go. And she's going to fly out. And there she goes. Watch where she goes. All right. Okay, the branchers are branching out again. The one that's uh, in the nest there, two to the left. Number four was at the right hand side, so I don't know where he's moved to. There's the one still nibbling on the food, still finishing up. Mama delivered a little food. There's one there. There's the other two. Well, there we are. Well, we'll uh, hang in here and see if we can see what happens on the next feeding then. They're enjoying it. Have a little breakfast this morning. I'll preen up this guy here. There we go. Got three of the four anyway. Look at this one getting all cleaned up. Enjoying that morning here. Nice and cool. They don't like it when it gets too hot. They got a good shady spot. They got a good selection on the nest. A good spot. It's nice and cool along here and they get plenty of shade. Well, I see a fuzzy feather. They're still getting rid of some of the downy feathers and getting their juvenile plumage all in and their flight feathers working good. All right, another one came in. One, two, three, and four. See, he just landed. That's one was off to the right. He just came in to see what uh, was going on in the nest. So we got all four here now. <laughs> all four came home. There you go. Two of them side by side up there and two down in the nest. Can't get over how deep that nest, they go all the way around there. Plenty of room in there. And hopefully it'll be active next year too. We can come by and check on it. Because it, other nests we've been watching since 2008, I think. And, uh, still going strong. So this looks like the same scenario, big nest that they've been using for years. All right, there we go. Got these two down in the nest and two on the limb, see? There we go, all four again. How about that? What a great day to be at the Cooper Hawk nest. Good head count. Got in on a feeding and there you go. Coming around again, one, two, three, and four. I <laughs> throw a little something out of the nest there. A little cleanup. <laughs> oh yeah, they might want to play a little bit. Yep. Yeah, have a little tag here. Hide and seek and tag. That's good. Oh, look at him. There you go. A whole nest of Cooper Hawks now. My goodness. Back down they go. Round and round. Playtime. A little playtime here. There you go. Been hearing the great blue herons making their call. Eh? They fly and make this prehistoric noise, then they go to their nest. So they still got youngsters in there. They're about ready to fly too. So 
Everything is growing up around here, getting ready to fly and fledge here. There you go, getting up in the leaves now. Well, we'll keep a close eye on them. They're going to settle down and wait for the next food. Oh, they still want to play now. They haven't hopped down there. Here we go. Round we go. Oh, they're getting their talons and their feet all working, their flight feathers and their wing muscles. There you go. Yes, he's flying over this way and that. Pretty good crop to one in the nest now. One, two, three, and four again. Happy siblings, all getting along pretty good here. We like to watch them play tag here. Around they go, getting their exercise. Okay, this one's over here now. Around they go, I'll chase you. <laughs> Yep, he's actually just having a little recess, see? They're enjoying it, and we enjoy watching them. And we get to hear all the other birds, too. We've got many songbirds down here. We're hearing them in the background there. Boy, they're just showing off in that nest. Look at the nice streak breast feathers. Got the dots on the back, almost like a fawn, and the one uh, that's a sign of a juvenile. The adults don't have the white spots, and their feathers turn darker. All right, back around they go. Whole nest of nice cooper hawks. Look at these guys. Isn't this exciting? Came down early. Thought I'd get up early, and that's true. The early snooper finds the cooper. I'm excited about that. Got in on a feeding. Oh, yeah. It's great stuff. We'll share this with our friends. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, around they go. It's like they're playing tag, you know, tag and hide and seek. That's <laughs> and the exercise and get those muscles build up. Thought I heard the great blue heron in the background. I can hear the adult cooper hawks when they come in. They make like a, a cat call and the male does this bick bick. That means I got food. We've been studying for years so we know the sounds. All right. But now we're getting to watch these guys and their sounds kind of a wee wee noise right now. They haven't found their adult voice. But after a while, they'll learn the cat call, too, and the other call. But this, this stage is just kind of wee, wee. You know, once you hear it and associate it with the birds, you'll never forget it. All right. Going up higher. See, he's going to see how far he can go. He's getting out of the picture now, see. All right. 